Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of applying ratios, and specifically how we can apply them in problem situations, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So they give us the ratio of bananas to apples. Okay, So they're going to give us 4 to 3. So I've got 4 bananas to 3 apples. So they tell us there are 24 bananas. How many apples were there? Okay, so if there were 24 bananas, let's set it up like this. I'm going to set it up as a proportion here. So 4 bananas and 3 apples. That's my ratio right there. And I'm going to set a proportion, so that's going to be an equivalent fraction. So I need 24 bananas. So equals how many apples? Well, think of equivalent fractions. If these are going to be equivalent fraction, because I'm going to stay in this ratio here, I need to multiply something by the only two numbers I have in the same spot are the two numerators, 4 and 24. So 4 times what gets me 24? So hopefully that's a basic fact. We think, oh, 4 times 6. Well, that means that to make an equivalent fraction, to keep this proportion going, I need to multiply my denominator by 6. So I've got 6 times 3, that's 18. So 24 over 18, that reduces down to 4 over 3, which is my initial ratio, which means for this first one, if there are 24 apples, there would be, or 24 bananas, there'd be 18 apples. But what if we did the same thing, 4 to 3, and they gave us some different numbers. They said there were 36 apples. Well, let's do the same thing. 4 bananas, 3 apples. But in this case, I don't know how many new bananas there are. I do know that there are 36 apples. I'm looking for those bananas. Okay, So 3 times what gets me 36? Well, that's going to be times 12, which means I'm going to multiply that by 12, which means that's 48. So if there were 36 apples, there would be 48 bananas. So in this example, they give us the total. They say there are 48 cars in a box, so I've drawn 48 here in a, an array of four rows, 12 in each row, and they give us the ratio of red to blue, and they want to know how many of each color there are. Well, there's two different ways to do that. If you want, you can always draw a picture. So red is 12, 4 is blue. So what I'm going to do is let's just mark out the 12 red, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I need to mark out 4 blue, but I don't want to do it on that next row. I kind of like the fact that I can just knock out an entire row for red. So I'm going to keep my blues down at the bottom. So there's my 4 blues. That's my initial ratio. And let's do it again. So I've got my 12 red. That's going to fill up the entire second row. And then I need four more blues. And let's just put them down here on the bottom. And hopefully you see where this is going. Take a look. I've got one full row left. That's going to be my third set of 12 reds. And then I've got four left. And those are the four blues that I need. So if I wanted to answer this question, how many of each color, I could say I've got 12, 24, I've got 36 red, and then I've got just one set or one row of that blue, which is 12. Now, how can we do that without drawing a picture? Well, when we're thinking of our proportion, we're thinking of how many total do we have, okay? So we know the total is going to be 48, okay? And so what is uh, the total of if I added my 12 and 14, right? That would be 16, okay? So 16 total if I added my initial ratio of 12 and 14. So if I want to look for blue, I can say, well, if there's four blue, then how many total blue would there be? right? And I would just think, well, 16 times what? That's going to get times 3, so I can do it times 3, and that gets you your 12. Then you can replace the same with this 12 red, and you can multiply by 3, and you would get your 36 red as well.